Cam Scanner is a free app that you can use on both iOS and Android devices. You can see this is the website for Cam Scanner. I just searched for Cam Scanner and opened up the uh, website. You can see here you can scan to download the app on your phone as well on again iOS or Android device. Cam Scanner is a great way to turn a picture or a drawing or a document into a scanned image that you can then transfer onto your phone and then your laptop. So I highly recommend this if you need to scan and all you have is your phone and your computer to do so. When you open up Cam Scanner for the first time, it will look like this. A little bit of a tutorial that you can just flick through. And then it asks you here to sign up and pay. You do not need to pay. You do not even need to log in. So when you're downloading the app, make sure you download a free version of the app. And you can see up the top left corner here, I can close this. And here it's asking me to register and sign in. I don't even need to do that. I can just click on use now down in the bottom right corner to get started without signing in. You can see here, this is the main page of Cam Scanner, and down the bottom, I wanna use the camera button. So you can see the camera button in green, and it says Cam Scanner would like to access your camera, and you allow it. It's asking you if you want to do a demo. You don't need to do a demo because I'm going to show you right now. So you can get out of that, and you can see here, I have a document that I printed out, and then I filled in by hand. I need to send this document now to somebody else via email. So if I put my camera over the top of my document, I want to have a little bit of the background in the document. I don't want to get so close that I've cropped out my actual document. I want to have a little bit of a background and I also want to make sure that the background is a contrasting color. So I want to make sure that the background is not the same color as my page, which is white. So I have a brown background, so that's good. What that means when I press the camera button now is that Cam Scanner will be able to find the edge of my page for me automatically, like this. If it hasn't done it very well, you can change the corners, so you can click and drag the corners so that it gets it correctly. So you can re-crop crop manually if you like, and you can also rotate down the bottom. When you're happy with your crop, you click on the arrow in the bottom right hand corner and it scans it for you. See how that changed, changed the contrast, made the black pop out, made the white much more brighter. That's uh, the magic of Cam Scanner. So down the bottom, I can play with different filters. So I just changed to the black and white filter and that looked a little better, so I'm going to use that one. But you can change the different filters that you like to work with the document that you're working with. Now down in the bottom right corner, I'm going to say this is okay and I'm going to click the tick. And now I have my document scanned. What I want to do now is share this. So I can click the share button down the bottom and it's asking me what format do I want this in. If it's a document like this, I want it as a PDF document. If it's a picture or a sketch, I want it as probably an image, so share as long image. You can see here, share as JPEG. So I'm going to select share as PDF right now, and this is going to say it's going to put a watermark on it because this is the free version. So I say, got it, thanks for letting me know. And in the top right hand corner, I'm just going to click share. And here I can airdrop it to my computer. I can send it in WhatsApp. I can add it to an email or my Evernote or anywhere else, my Google Drive, any other app that I have on my phone, I can add it to and share it to.